What is up? Welcome to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs. Once again, it's your boy, Kier. Unfortunately, there's no Jason on this particular film, uh, but I'm actually reviewing a new film that is actually uh, only streaming on Disney+, Plus, and that film is Werewolf by Night. Without further ado, I say let's get right into it. Um, so once again, yeah, this film is streaming um, on Disney+. Plus. It's actually a Marvel film, if you can believe it or not, that's uh, black and white. Uh, and it's only like 55 minutes long. So it's a really, really quick film. Um, and what it is, is basically about a group of uh, monster hunters set somewhere in the 1900s. I, I don't know exactly what the year was. It doesn't, doesn't feel like it's modern day. Um, but it's basically about a, a group of basically monster hunters. Their, their leader basically has passed on. And so uh, all these hunters are basically invited uh, to this uh Kind of a funeral, if you will, um, but also to basically see who's going to basically take over Reigns as kind of the, the leader in, in, a, in a nutshell. And basically, they all get there. Um, they all have designated amount of kills of, of different various monsters. And basically, they are all fighting for basically uh, this stone, which is like a bloodstone, which basically can give you powers and transform you and things of this nature. Uh, the bloodstone also has other powers as well, like being able to like... Uh, bring uh like if you're a human and you were a monster uh, or human form but you're actually a monster inside if someone were to hit you with a bloodstone it would basically bring the monster out of you so for example if you're a werewolf and you're you know it's not a full moon the bloodstone can basically turn you into a werewolf instantly um so what the the hunters are told is basically that uh there's a monster basically on the grounds and that uh, they basically have installed this bloodstone onto uh, the monster, and it's their job to basically go slay the beast and then get the bloodstone. Um, so there's like, I don't remember how many, like six or seven hunters that are involved. And so, and they also have to basically fight each other uh, on these grounds, basically. So they basically are all sent to go outside. They're told there's various weapons on the ground so they can use once they get there. And that's basically the story. Um, you know, I don't want to go into the full details and spoil the ending or anything of that nature because it's very short uh you know not a whole lot of character development but you don't really need it for this type of film um uh, because you kind of know what they're what they're doing they're to go hunt a monster hunt a monster and kill the monster and basically retrieve the, the, the bloodstone um there's some you know other little twists and in, in interesting parts that, that happen throughout the film um but you know that's basically the nutshell of the film but i'll sum it up by saying i liked it um, you know, I thought it was fun. It was short, sweet, to the point. Uh, 55 minutes, you're in there and you're out. Um, there was one scene that I thought was, uh, there was a couple that are basically stuck in like this tomb for a little bit and they have like a conversation, like dialogue. And I was like, I don't think you guys got time for this type of character development, getting to know each other. That was the only thing that I was like, is, you know, there's only like 20 minutes left in this film. We got to pick up the pace but um other than that i did enjoy it i thought it was a good film i thought it was fun i would be interested to see where this series goes and uh, like i said it's in black and white um you know it looks like it's got some you know cgi blood and things of that nature uh, but for a disney film it's pretty dark and edgy um you know it's definitely quite different and for a marvel film as well so it's definitely quite different from you know the avengers or any of those other films that, that you know from, from from disney or marvel um so i like that it was it was different it offered a, a unique story um, and, you know, it was scary in parts, uh, but it was also a lot of fun as well. It had some great fight scenes, some good action, um, but just overall really strong, solid film at a 55 minute running time. If I give this one a grade, I'm going to go with a three and a half out of five on that one. So it's a big smile with some teeth. But uh, let me know down in the comments. Um, have you seen Werewolf by Night? Did you like it? Did you not like it? As always, if you like our content, we ask that you like, subscribe follow make sure you hit those bell notifications and we'll be back again soon with some more show for, shows for you guys we thank you for watching hope you have a great day bye